Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna walk through the payment settings for your Printify account. All right, so I actually made a video about your Printify payment settings a couple of years ago, but since it's been a couple of years, some things on these screens have changed and some of the options you have are a little different than they were back then. So I thought it would be a good time to do a 2023 update to these payment settings. The first thing that you need to understand if you are brand new to using Printify to sell print on demand is that Printify does not receive any funds at all from your sales channel. Your sales channel is where you're selling your product. So whether that's Etsy, eBay, on Shopify, on your own website, whatever sales channel you're using to actually sell your products, those marketplaces or your website, they don't send any money to Printify. You need to pay Printify for the order fulfillment cost in order for them to actually handle your orders and ship them to your customers. Now, I do have a whole separate video about the payment cash flow cycle for selling print on demand using Printify that goes more in depth about how the process of you know receiving revenue for your orders and paying for your order fulfillment. In this video, we're just gonna talk about the payment settings here. But check out the link in the description to that video if you are interested in that. So to find your payment settings in your Printify account, just click on the little green profile icon in the top right corner of any screen on Printify and then come down to the payments option and it will take you right to this page. You only have one payment settings page for all of your stores. So if you have a Printify account in the free version of the account, you can connect up to five stores. And if you have a Printify premium subscription, you can connect up to 10 stores. So no matter how many stores you have connected across different sales channels, you only have one payment settings page. So as of 2023, you cannot currently use different payment methods for different stores. So if you have like a different credit card that you wanna use, you would actually need a separate Printify account in order to do that. All right, so there's two primary ways to pay for the fulfillment of your orders. You have a balance and then you have a credit or debit card. Now, that is only true if you are using US dollars as your billing currency. You have a setting on this page, on the payment details page for the billing currency and it is by default set to US dollars. And if you change this, it means that you will be billed in a different currency, which you may actually wanna do if your bank account is in a different currency than US dollars. And that would be because your bank could charge you an exchange rate for a foreign transaction if you are being billed in a different currency than what your bank account is set up in. For example, if you're located in Canada and you're paying with a Canada bank credit card, then Printify is going to bill you in US dollars and your bank may or may not charge you for a foreign transaction if that charge is coming through in US dollars. So it's going to be up to you to, to verify how your bank account works because they're all different. Even in the US, some credit cards don't charge foreign transaction fees and some do. So the best thing to do is just make sure that the currency you're being billed in matches the currency of whatever bank account you're using to actually pay for your order fulfillment. However, if you go to change this from US dollars, there are a couple things to be aware of here. And Printify does tell you on the screen here when you click on change. So first of all, if you change it from US dollars, you cannot use a Printify balance to pay for your order. So that means you can't load money into your account if you change it to another currency. You can only use a credit or debit card. You also can't use any coupons if you switch it from US dollars. So for example, I have a coupon code to get 30 free days of Printify premium. That is code POD Insights, all lowercase. And there's a coupon code field at the bottom of this payments page. So use that. That if you want 30 free days of Printify Premium. However, you won't be able to do that if you switch from US dollars to a different billing currency. They just don't accept coupon codes for other currencies. So just be aware of these caveats here if you change your billing currency that these things will apply to you. Now, if you don't care about any of these things, if they don't matter to you, then that's fine. You can change your billing currency to any of the ones you see on the screen. Currently, we have British pounds, we have euros, Canadian dollars and Australian dollars. Let's talk a little bit about balance versus credit or debit card. Now, again, if you're being billed in US dollars, you can use the balance in your Printify account to pay for orders. And the way that you add money to that is traditionally using PayPal. You can actually contact Printify if you have a Payoneer account, but not PayPal. I'll link to a help page 
in the Printify help catalog about this. If you have a Payoneer account, but not a PayPal account, you can reach out to Printify and ask if they can enable the Payoneer option for you. It's not currently available to everybody. There's more information in that link I'll put in the description if you wanna check that out. But the default option here is to use PayPal. So if you're currently being billed in US dollars, you'll have this option to use a balance. And if you click on top up, it's gonna give you this little pop-up window where you put in how much you want to transfer in. And then you click the green button there and it will transfer you out to PayPal where you can log into your PayPal account. And then you can use any payment method you want to actually transfer that money into your PayPal account. So you can still use a credit or a debit card or a checking account or any financial account that you can link to a PayPal account, you can use to transfer funds into your Printify account. So once you do that, let's say you loaded $100 in here, what will happen is when you get orders and submit them to production, Printify will draw from this balance here in your Printify account until it goes down to zero. If it goes down to zero and you don't reload the balance yourself, then what will happen is your orders won't go to production. They will just sit there in an on hold status until you add more funds to your account, unless you also save a credit or debit card in your account. So that's your other option. You don't need to use Printify Balance if you don't want to. You can just save a credit or debit card here. Once you've saved a credit or debit card to your account, then that will be your default payment method as long as your Printify Balance is at zero. If you have money in your Printify Balance, that will always get used first. And then when that runs out, it will go to your credit or debit card that you have on file. The only other things right here on this screen are the status of your Printify Premium membership if you have one, as well as that coupon field. So this is where you would come and enter that POD Insights coupon code. Again, that's one word, all lowercase. If you don't have Printify Premium, that'll give you 30 free days of Printify Premium. Again, I have a whole separate video about Printify Premium and how to figure out whether it's worth it for you. So I'll link to that in the description too. All right, the only other things that are on the payments settings page in your account are the records or information about your transactions and your invoices. The transactions page is exactly what it sounds like. It's just every individual transaction coming from orders or paying for your Printify premium subscription. All of that is listed there individually. But then on the invoice pages, this is where you get either summary invoices or individual order invoices. Now, Printify does not automatically provide both. You have to let them know which one you want. You can either get a monthly summary of all of your order totals and transactions or individual order invoices. To change that setting, you actually go to a different section in your account. On the left side, you would go to the settings option. And then here, this is where you can change your invoice frequency. You can change that here to monthly or individual order. I personally recommend monthly if you're not sure which one you want because individual order invoices literally mean a separate PDF invoice for every single order that you get. It's just not all that useful, I don't think. Whereas the monthly invoices, you can actually use to get more of a summary, especially if you're not using tax software like QuickBooks to keep tally of all of your order costs. Getting them on a monthly basis makes them a little easier to tabulate and add up if you need to at tax time or something like that. There's one other thing about currency I wanna touch on before we wrap things up. What we've been talking about is the billing or the payments part of things on Printify. So that is the currency that you'll be billed in. When it comes to the currency that you sell your products in, that's actually determined through your sales channel. So all they're really doing is publishing numbers and decimal points to your sales channel when you publish a product. So whatever your sales channel is set for in terms of currency, that is how your products will actually be listed. Just like it says on this help page on Printify's site, which I will link to in the description, if you want something to be $24.99 in whatever currency, just put in $24.99 when you're setting your product prices and that's what it will be when it gets published to your Etsy shop or whatever your sales channel is. There is no conversion of currency from Printify to your sales channel when it comes to your product prices. All right, so that's it for setting up your payments in your Printify account. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful or if you still have any questions about setting up your payments with Printify. If you're new to selling print on demand with Printify, I have a whole host of other videos about settings, the order process, even product reviews. So be sure to check out some of the links I have in the description. If you're looking at the store settings, I do also have a video about that that I will link to. If you found the video helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button so YouTube can show it to more people. And don't forget to subscribe to the POD Insights channel. Thanks everybody. See you next time.